Let's learn how to create bulletin board calendars in Canva. These are giant calendars that you can print off and hang in your classroom. No need to spend tons of money buying them. You can create them for free in Canva with your Canva Education account. Remember, Canva Education is free for all teachers. Now, I'll have a link in the description to this calendar if you just want to use this one and you can print and use it your way, or you can edit it to fit your needs. But I wanna go over how I created this and the sizing I'm using for the calendar and the boxes. I also created month and year tags that I'll show you how to do as well. So you're going to come into Canva and you're going to create a new design. We're going to do a custom size. We're going to make sure it's in inches and we're going to go 36 by 24 and create new design. And then you are going to come on the left-hand side to elements and you are going to add a table. And you can decide what type of calendar you want, if you want all seven days or if it's for your classroom and you only want Monday through Friday, totally up to you. But go ahead and add the columns. I'm going to do a seven-day calendar. We add two more. And then I like to have five rows here because sometimes when you're adding and putting your calendar together, if it starts near the end of this row, you're going to need that fifth and final row there. All right, then you're gonna go ahead and make it as big as you want. I have my guidelines here. In fact, let me turn those off just so that it's not annoying. Go ahead and make this as big as you want. And I'm actually going to add one more row because this is going to be my days of the week and we can make it, whoops, as small as we want to kind of show that it's our days of the week. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to add my days of the week here. Now you can see my Wednesday didn't quite fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these boxes here. And I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. I like pop-ins, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that font there. And then you can choose a font up here to write classroom calendar, or you can leave it blank because you can also put months and year tags there. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and put classroom calendar. And I am going to use a font called Blueberry. I'm going to come up here. Let's find that font. Oh, right here. I use it often, so it came up pretty quick. And you can put that calendar wherever you want. Let's just put it here in the middle. And then you're going to decorate it however you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and find some school supplies. Kind of have a pack in mind that I want to use. I've used it before. So I'm going to scroll down until I see that design that I like. Just a tip, if you find a find an element you like, you can click the three little dots. And if it doesn't say view collection, you can click on the artist and then you can search just their store. And so I like this person's artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and use that here. Now I kind of want to go with this color scheme. So I'm just going to keep it here for a minute so I can use the eyedropper tool or the photo colors that come up and change that background those colors. Okay, you can see that I found the colors here and then I am going to change my background to be a different color. I'm probably going to get this light bluish color here as our background. Even though I have Thursday there as blue, I think I'll do that and then I'll just move this over a little bit so it's a little bit lighter. Then I'm gonna go ahead and find a square element. And I am going to make it white and just send it here to the back. Awesome. And then even with this classroom calendar here, I feel like I could do different colors. I could make it 
look really cute. I want to do probably this dark blue that's in here. It's kind of a navy blue. Next, you can go ahead and add different elements. So I'm going to come back to that same artist and add some elements here. Let's add a pencil. I'm just going to kind of scatter them at the bottom, or maybe I'll go all around the calendar. It's totally up to you, however you want to do that. Now, because it's 36 by 24 right now on my computer screen, this looks quite small, but these images will be bigger once printed. I'm going to go ahead and get just a fun little design going here. That's what's fun about creating your own classroom decor is you get to make up the rules. You get to do what you want and it doesn't cost a ton of money. You are doing this all on your own with your free Canva for Education account. No more spending tons of money just to get your classroom decor. And then if you want, you can change it up year to year or to match the different seasons. That's always fun as well. Okay, I've designed my whole calendar. I think it looks really cute. I can print it out and hang it on a bulletin board. Now this, just for reference, I wanted to show you what the other one looks like. This one was cute classroom decor here. If I click on info, we can view collection and you can see what that collection looked like just in case you ever want to use this same one. That's the set you would put in your element search bar to find it. Now let's go over the number cards that we would create to go inside of the calendar as well as different holiday cards, things like that. So for example, for this calendar here, I created these number cards and these little holiday cards and I've started to do the months and then we've got some years going. But because this is a 36 by 24 template, you need to measure the square, how big you want it to be inside. So just add a square element on your calendar and then make it as big as you want to fit that space. You can make it fit exactly. You can make it have a border. I kind of like to have a little bit of a border. So this fits pretty good right there. So I would copy it and I would come to a new presentation here and just paste it. And you can fit about two per row and then add a border so you can easily see where to cut them out. Now for the cute pink numbers here, if I highlight that box and I click position and arrange, I can see the size is about a four by three box, 4.04 by 3.07 to be exact, because this could be a little bit different. Let's see. Oh, it, it was almost exactly the same, but it's okay. If it's a little different, it just needs to be able to fit inside that box. Okay. So then what you can do is just go ahead and add your text boxes for your numbers. I went all the way to 31. And then of course, if you want, you can add some of those numbers where you have like 24, and 30 if you need one that has a slash. But you would go through and make all of your numbers. And then you can also do some holidays. So for Save School, Labor Day, Patriot Day, Halloween, Veterans Day, all of the holidays you would like to include, as well as add some month and year tags that you can hang above the calendar as well. And then to print out the calendar, you would go to Share download, and you're going to print it as a PDF print. Then you want to make sure you have all of your PDF up to date, your PDF program, so that you have the option that I'm about to show you. This is one way to print this into pieces and tape it or glue it together. There are multiple ways, but I'm just showing you the way with the PDF. There's other ways within Canva where you can split images as well. That would work just as fine, just as well. Okay, let's see. So here's my calendar. I would just click print. And then I'm going to select poster. And when I select poster, it splits up the images for me. See how they're each in these different pieces here. And I can go ahead 
and I can then print those out and tape or glue them together to get your final product for your bulletin board calendar. So don't spend tons of money this back to school season on classroom decor. Make it with your free Canva for Education account. And if you want to learn how to make more classroom decor with all of my templates that are Canva related, make sure to click the link in the comments and in the description so you can join, create your own classroom decor with Canva this summer.